Good evening, everyone. My name is Sue, and I hate video games. And this is a little offline stream, so to speak. I'll just be recording the intro to this so that I don't spend 20 or 30 minutes at the start of uh, the, the, the stream just playing alone when I'm supposed to be playing with Mox. Mox is here with me. I know it's so funny. <laughs> And they'll be uh, playing the intro alongside of me. So we're going to create our characters and just get ready for tomorrow. All oh right. God, it's going to take go. so long for us to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's my that's my single player character. All, all decked out in uh, in yellow and purple, of course. Wonderful. Mm hmm. All right, begin new adventure. Here we go. So there we have the Kingdom Hearts logo. It's light, you know. It's very important that you know that Kingdom Hearts, like monsters, are light. Mm-hmm. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. I love Once all the kitties the everywhere. No oh, it's I'm very not that far important. yet. I'm still oh, no. listening to the guy's spiel. Oh, he's still going. Oh, no. Well, he just started. If, any of you have lost your nerve, if anyone wants to hear the voice acting, you're SOL, because they can't tell when I'm seeing or when I'm hearing voice acting on my screen. And strong. And may the sapphire star light your way. probably should have synced up the thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, once we get to character creation, we can. Anyway, here's here's the inside of the boat. This is presumably first person us. Look at this dork. Is it the red-headed dork? No, it's the, the, the blonde guy with the bad mustache. He's only there for a second. And then there's cats. Very important. Mm-hmm. And then there's the serious... The serious handler. And the goofy hunter. That's the red-headed dork. They're my good friends, and I love them very much. Mm-hmm. Ages since I left home to join the commission. So nervous. Yep, real nervous. I'm gonna pretend I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? How? Oh, that's the serious handler. The other girl was even more serious. Tell us your name. All right. Oh, Jesus. That is the most generic white man I have ever seen in my life. Oh, the, oh, yeah. I just kind of immediately forgot his face existed. I just mm -hmm. kind of immediately just switched it. All right. Let's go with female. Uh, presets. None of them look remotely like me. I guess she kind of does. Like a little bit. She's got a big blocky face like I do. Minecraft. Yep, I'm I'm Minecraft Alex. He caught me. Uh, yeah, let's start with big blocky face then. Alright. Now let's keep the chin. That's like the only chin that's remotely like mine, and it's still too thin. All the girl chins are like really wafy and thin. I went... You, you're not wrong. I think I just kind of, like, went over somewhere and found an adjacent chin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the closest I've got to mine is this one that it started with, which is... fucking, uh, chin number six. And even then, the chin itself is much too thin. She does look very Welsh, though. All right, skin. Well, I am very pale, but we're going to go with clown pale, if I can. Because that's my favorite way to play this game. Because as a clown. 
Oh, yeah, that teeth. looks like it's as pale as it gets. Their teeth That's just little... like... This is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Wrinkles? I don't have wrinkles. I don't know what you're talking I really don't have a lot of wrinkles. I'm lucky in that way. My hair is thinning, but I don't have any goddamn wrinkles. <laughs> Let's increase the wrinkle volume now. Wow, those are not even wrinkles. That's just pores. Good job. Alright, let's try actually increasing the wrinkles. Wow, that did nothing. That literally doesn't do anything. What the hell? You know, I, I never I never checked the wrinkle slider. Uh huh. What? But but it's at a hundred per what did yeah, you Yeah, it doesn't do? it doesn't do anything. It's like they add like the ghost of wrinkles. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Like. They add like the artist formerly known as Wrinkles. It's just like <laughs> shadows and contours like across the face. And mm -hmm. I don't understand it. Let's see. I like this lion mane here. Maybe I'm a lion. I thought you were a clown. Oh, if you if you do wrinkle volume to max and wrinkles to max, you can kind of maybe see wrinkles. Oh, we gotta we gotta look at this. All right, wrinkle volume max. See that just like increases the porousness of your skin <laughs> and increase wrinkles to max. Oh wow, yeah. Now I look like I'm, I don't know, early 50s? I guess that's reasonable enough. I have that's no older than you can look age. in most games. That's older than you can look in most games. But you have to use both sliders to get any real effect. That's really weird. And if they're both halfway, you still can't see shit. Now I've got laugh lines. I've got very light laugh lines, so that works. Now I want that. That color. Super pale. Hairstyle. Hairstyle. I'm looking at hairstyle. I think I'm just going to pick the mess that I went with before. Mm, I might just go with bald. Bald's my go-to. But then I can't show off how pretty and red my hair is. This is very important. Why won't- why haven't they added Vanta Black to the slider? Because that's illegal. All right. Mm. You know what? I'm- I, I should go with- I should go with the terrible lion hair. No, I'm not gonna. It's too terrible. Like, a lot of these are, like, NPC hair. Oh, I can go with the mohawk. That's pretty close to my real-life hair. Oh, wow. Spiked mohawk. Yeah, we're doing that. Going with the fucking Liberty Spikes here. I have no idea what's going on with your eyebrows, and I think that's fine. <laughs> Saturation slightly higher, brightness slightly lower. Trying to get See, the when... shade of red that my hair was when I was younger. Because mm. now it's mostly brown, if I'm being honest. There we go, that's pretty good. Now we hit confirm and confirm. Eyebrows. What is eyebrow versus brow type? That's confusing. You are asking the wrong possum. Oh, I see. Brow type is the curve? Which none of these curve as much as my real eyebrows do. I have big arched eyebrows. Oh, that actually gives you a 
bit of a brow ridge if you pick number three. That's amazing, because you can't normally have a brow ridge. Oh, okay, that is literally just changing the name of the size of the brow ridge and the shape of the brow ridge. Although there's not any that are, like, as big as a real person's brow ridge, which is kind of amazing. You can't have real things in a video game. Nah, everyone's got to be idealized in a way that no human being is actually shaped. I'm going to be real with you. I think the first time I like did this, I spent 45 minutes to oh, I did say too. two hours. So I just, I'm speed running like character creation. Well, once we both hit confirm at the end, we'll be basically synced up. So, but we got to hit confirm at the same time or oh, no. finish at the same time. Rather, none of these eyebrows are even as thick as mine. Like how wild is that? And I don't even have thick eyebrows. You've seen my eyebrows. They're not particularly thick, and these are all thinner than my real ass eyebrows. I think this game is eyebrow shaming me. Oh no. All right, this'll do. I've already forgotten what my eyebrows look like and they're on my face, so. I need to copy the color of my hair to switch over to my eyebrows. I forget how to, oh, save color, Use there it, it is. Yeah. All right. I wish you could save more than one at a time. I remember that being a pain in the ass. Saved palette. Good. Now I have eyebrows that match my hair color. Eyes. Well, that's actually pretty close to what my real eyes look like, number six. Ooh, number 12 is pretty good. Ooh, I like number 11 a lot. They're a little small, though. All the eyes are a little small. I just have big ass eyes. They made a video game for ants. They sure did. <laughs> Eyelash length as long as possible. Change color of eyes to nice and green. And then up the saturation value all the way brightness all the way and now my eyes glow it's perfect there now you can see my eyes from a mile away won't monsters spot you nah their 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 visions based on vision wait That's pretty close to my real nose, but not wide enough. It's long enough. It's not wide enough. I have nostrils, damn it. I'm proud of my nostrils. All right, that's not too... Oh, that's curved downwards, though. My nose doesn't curve... I'm trying to get this to look just a little bit like me, for fuck's sake. You're not allowed to be a real person in video games. I guess not. All the ones that have, like, spread nostrils, the nose is curved downwards. This is wild. Oh, there's a tiny little button nose. I should go with that. Oh, wait. That's pretty good. That's all right. That'll do. I like that. Give me my sideburns. Where are they? Where do they live? Okay. Go. It's a pretty good nose. Now the mouth. Now the game does have 
almost entirely big full lips like mine, so that's good. On the other hand, if you have thin lips, you're SOL. Okay, not entirely SOL. It's actually got a pretty good selection of mouth shapes. Yeah, five will do. Raise it up slightly. Go, oh, that looks pretty good. Facial hair. I could give myself this cool mustache. It's got individual, like, hair. All the facial hair has individual hair rendering, so it all looks fucking awful. Oh, there's a, there's a good Mario mustache. There's a scraggly ass beard. Like, these are supposed to be thick, full beards, but they look so scraggly. It's because there's individual rendering on each of the hairs. Oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not have a beard. I am glad that they let... That they let girl... Girl characters... Femme-bodied characters have beards. Girl TM. Mm-hmm. All right, makeup. All right, we're doing the clown paint, because that's what I always do. Wow, that's... Terrific, thank you. We widen this out. And we make it taller. There we go, just cover as much space as possible, basically. And then, instead of red... Oh, wait. Bring that up. Yeah, that's a little better. Instead of red, we want it to be saturation zero, brightness maxed, glossiness about half, so it looks a bit like grease paint, metallic, we make it metallic, which is strange. Transparency. No transparency. I want to look like a fucking powdered donut over here. Oh, I could make it glow too. I forgot about that. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm a little disappointed I can't see your screen. You, you can watch the VOD once I upload it. I think you'll be. I think you'll be impressed. <laughs> Oh, holy shit, that was horrifying. All right, let's lower the brightness slightly, down to about 85. There we go. Firm. Oh yeah, that's... Shouldn't need any more white. I just I vaulted makeup. over the makeup with a 10-foot pole, so I'm like on clothing and stuff. Mm hmm. I mean, makes sense. Valid. Alright, now we need. Okay, you know what? Let's just go with the triangles. Like, I can't make my clown paint in this. This thing's nowhere near complex enough for that. And it's not code vein, so. Mm -hmm. No horrifying burger surprises. No burger clowns. Damn. Saturation. Whoops. Saturation zero. Brightness zero. Glossy zero. Metallic zero. Transparency zero. There we go. Just all zeros, really. Makeup three will just be lips.
this color black and saturation. God dang it. Saturation zero, brightness zero. Perfect. Cute. Going with cute clown paint today. Little, uh, little Mansony, little Marilyn Mansony, but that's okay. Expression. It is so difficult to get a good shade of brown in this game. <laughs> is it? Not for like makeup and stuff, for like skin. Oh, gotcha. And it changes when you get out into the world because I was like several shades darker when I did like the first one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it depends on the lighting. If you hit X on your controller, you can change the lighting so that you can see what you'll look like in different sorts of places. I mean, this expression set number five is the one that looks really clownish, so that's what I'm going with. You know how I got these scars? Clowning? Did you Oops. did you fall over a balloon? I, I think I got gored by a bull. Because I'm a was, rodeo clown. Oh no, was the bull wearing the <laughs> balloon? Yes. That is precisely it. Alright. Change color. Oh, right. It's... For some reason, it's the black and white part you're changing and not the red part. Oh, this one you're changing the red part. All right. So we're going to go with black and yellow. Max the saturation, max the brightness. Perfect. Voice. And then it puts armor on me as soon as I go to voice. Oh, now I gotta turn up the speaker so I can actually hear the voices. Yes, exactly like that. Oh, I like 10. Yeah, we're going with 10. <laughs> Action samples. Huh. All right, now. I think one of these that. in 14 really sounds like cat puke, so I guess I'm going with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for. Default armor, you can go with leather, chainmail, or no armor. Any of them work, really. Uh, you get to make your own armor and also switch out for either of those sets immediately. So, I think I'm going to do the intro with no armor, just so I can show off this bright yellow. <laughs> All right. Now, oh right, when I hit finish, we go on to making the cat, right? I f yeah, oh, the best part, okay. Enter your name. The truck. No. How about... Giggles. Mox and Giggles. Okay. Perfect. 
All right, now let's make cats. All right, presets. This one's green. That's pretty good. I love all of them. They're mm, all good. They They're are. all babies. I like this one that's clearly a fennec fox pretending to be a cat, number 13. They're so good. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine even more fennec like. There we go. Um, outline number three. Give it those fox cheeks. Fur length. Want to shorten it. Not all the way, but a, a lot of the way. There we go. For thickness. Oh, there we go. Got a big reek going on now. How pink can I make this cat? That's a good question. Oh god. Oh, that's a lot of pink. Colors are more or less should make it maybe a little less bright. Little higher saturation. There we go. No, it's all the way where there we go, that's perfect. Pattern. Pattern's good. I have no idea what this button is doing anymore. There we go. Yeah, mine is mine's a fox pretending to be a cat. This is great. Let's see, I. Oh, those are good eyes. I just noticed that they have round pupils, too. They're like, well, palette, pelican, 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 pal, I'm trying to figure out, okay, they're a cat, who are your pal? Yeah. It's, but, but there's no other animal in here. It's just cat. It's just cat and friend, and friend is a species all its own. Mm-hmm. For some reason, this is now sending all audio through the right ear. Uh, that's annoying. This turn off? Did, Did they you both? Like... Well, they didn't both turn off. That's weird. Okay. Did you like gesture just just a little bit to the right and it just decided that, that meant that you just wanted okay, to not I, have sound? No, one of them just desynced for some reason. It's it's resynced now. Uh yeah, let's go with the round pupils. Change Little both ears. Let's change the uh change their eyes to be more like mine. That way we'll match. Beautiful. Ears. The ears are perfect. Tail. Make it, make it like a, a little fox tail. Oh, actually, that's even better. What does a fennec tail look like specifically? Let me look this up real quick. Um, 
course Monster Hunter World has taken over my honor. Um, Fennec Tail. Alright, it is big and poofy. That's perfect. That means that we want to take tail number five. Low there. Now we can pick the color of its clothing. Oops, no. Yellow. Max saturation, max brightness. Actually, let's go purple. Beautiful. Perfect. Voice. Type 3 is probably the screechiest, which is perfect for a fennec. Oh good, same. Make it high-pitched. Confirm. And... Finish, I guess. Tell me when you're finished. I am naming the Palico. Alrighty. I am not going to spend 40 minutes on babynames.com. Enter okay. Palico's name. Mine is going to be... Gaffaw. Mine is going to be Lissy because I love being in trouble. <laughs> Firm. Is this name okay? Yes. Start the, Start game, the with game with this movie. character. One, two, three, and yes. So, how about a toast? <laughs> to the A list and the commission. And the commission. <laughs> So, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. Why can't I get my mic to stop picking up the game the sound commission now? For 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? I love her. She's pretty great. Plus, she has a cool telescope visor. That's way better than a fucking binoculars. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. Meow do. <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, wow. She's also clearly a little drunk here, which is fun. Maybe in the world of Monster Hunter, they've managed to make beer not taste like piss. I like beer. I even like cheap beer. Besides, some of it tastes like bitter pits. <laughs> it's okay, I appear to be wearing a wetsuit. But my cat? My cat's super dead. Yeah. Never gonna see that cat again. It had you customize it as a cruel joke. Alright. Now we get to start this part. 
So what is your weapon going to be? Hmm. I was thinking I could boop some snoots with a very large hammer. That would be a really fun one to do team maneuvers with. The hammer can knock me into the air to mount monsters. All right, I'm climbing the first wall. I am spending just a bit of time. Oh, we just automatically, I keep forgetting that we just kind of automatically know that climbing is a thing that you can do. Yeah. That ship was made of bones the whole time, it turns out. Which is the only reason it's not in pieces. Mm-hmm. It's not safe here. Let's go right into the lava. Exactly. And now the boat's falling on me. Oh good, it missed somehow. Well, never gonna see that boat again. We need to get out of here. I've got an idea. Let's go this way. Careful, don't fall. Good advice. All right, climbing this wall. Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit the jump button and jumped off the wall. Oh? Uh. I completely forgot that that was how that works. All right, now I'm dashing up the wall. It's fine. Yeah, if you hit uh, B while you're on the wall, you dive off of it, which is useful for mounting monsters. Not so useful for climbing up this wall. I'm just kind of inching towards the ledge because it won't let me up. Come on, okay. All right, I've made it to the ledge as well. Ow, I just got bonked. Fortunately, monster hunters are fucking invincible. <laughs> that is the only way I can explain all the non-fall damage. Uh-oh, the ground's moving again. That's no ground. It's a Godzilla. I'm so glad they don't make you time that jump because guess what would have happened? <laughs> right? Get a good running start, then jump. All right, and I just made the jump as well. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm going to be really seasick after this ride. Air sick? Monster sick. Hey, this tyrannical, some sort of fly floppy thing is trying its best. <laughs> Check it out. It's a The New World. The New World. And that's a Fire slug? Sec, I'm uh, I'm a few seconds behind you. Oh, you mean what we were just on? He's yeah. a dragon. He's one of the elder dragons. We have to He's fight that later. Free. Wonderful. Yeah. It's Don't actually die. one of the it's actually one of the easiest fights in the game. All right, now I've landed. All right, now we have uh, now we have a camp. Walk over to the handler. How about I jog to the handler instead? I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. There we go. And this is the part of the map we have access to right now. So we've got to get to the exit to the town. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. I am sprinting. Oh, and cutscene. Oh, I'm still watching the I'm still watching the map. Alright. I don't understand how given our geographic locations, I'm ahead of you. Mm hmm No, I was oh. saying I don't want 
I I don't know. I don't know what geographic location has to do with it. Listen, the internet gets haunted once it enters my general area. Well, yeah, but you're offline. Come on, let's or we're playing going. offline. What? Yeah, we're not online right now. What? But, but the whole g okay. According to the map, to get to HQ, we yeah, need this to is all this is all offline stuff. It's only online once you make it online. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight, I of me, don't know why I automatically expected them to be like waiting and watching me from the very second I entered the. Oh no, that's just how games work, and you know. Because live services. I love Jagras. I love Jaggy too, but Jagras is pretty great. Jaggy are Velociraptor style dinosaurs, while Jagras are lizards. Very, very, very curious lizard. Please, please, with those teeth, do not. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. Ah, I don't have a weapon. That sucks. Hide. Oh, I'm hiding in the leaves. Yeah, this doesn't work. Normally, if they're watching you when they hide, they fucking know where you are. You would normally have to actually get out of their cone of vision and then... Uh, hide. Otherwise, they'd still know where you were. I don't think I ever stood still alone, like long enough for it like, not to just make me dodge roll right back into their general area. <laughs> Are these just what what era of games was that where it's just like we have to make sure that you don't go through this area fast enough? Oh so Jesus, we're just that's put like a bunch of. 2010 or so around that at that time so they uh disguised loading screens as turning sideways and going between some shelves yes exactly that's exactly what that reminds me of every time uh -huh. all right now we get to learn about how scout flies work briefly basically you want to keep Searching for scout fly points until you max out the meter, then you take it to the research commission. Oh shit! <laughs> well, she's gonna die. Definitely. You're ahead of me because I inevitably got lost along the way. This way, hurry. Thanks, field team leader. No, get back here, Jagras. I want to pet you. Move. That is not good. Oh shit. Anjana accidentally fucking up its animation and getting stuck in the air for a second. Anjanath is a fun fight too. I really enjoy fighting Anjanath the first time. Oh god. I'm gonna I'm gonna be teaching you about the, the skill system and elemental damage and stuff to make things easier. Hey. That's probably for the best. Please, okay. please your wacky tails out of my way. Listen, I was way too far away for that to, for that jump to make sense. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. Stara. I like it. <laughs> 
That's such a white person line. It's like nature intended for us to build right here. <laughs> no, someone's already settled this before. You're just an asshole. What's up, Mohawk? I should have called myself Headphone Jack. I'm so angry. Scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Did she just say you need to take off your shoulder? Maybe. This here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Huh. Look at all the people. The stuff. Look at this Incredible. stuff. Isn't it neat? We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the He may be an asshole, but I appreciate his titty window a lot. Right? Commander, I found him. I love a man who's not afraid to have a titty window. Welcome to Astera. So now we got dialogue. We'll cover the important matters at council, which I'll be con convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. I'm so glad our cat isn't fucking dead. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. All right. You should drop by later to see what Now we've got. got this long ass drawn out tour that doesn't need to be as long as it is. In most of the games where they give you a tour, it just teleports you around the town to show you stuff. It's much quicker. This game is kind of obsessed with like drawing things out at times. Over here. Hmm. I love the way the sun glares off my face. My bright white clown face. The old man in charge, my grandfather was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me. Not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. When do they let us escape? Uh, as soon as we're done the tour. Now, for anyone watching, the reason we're not taking the guardian armor is because it's stronger than any armor you can actually make in the uh, the main game, and it's only there if you're trying to rush through to Iceborne. So we're going to be building our own armor as we go. It makes the game a lot more interesting that way. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. So, the illustrious fifth has arrived. Welcome, welcome. I hear it was quite rough. Huh? Where's your gear? You need equipment, a weapon at least. Then we'll talk. Yeah, I'll get that from my from my bedroom. Well, what do we have here? A new face, huh? You must be with the fifth. Well, welcome to the new world. We can talk business once you've grabbed yourself a weapon. That outfit looks naked without one. I'll be here waiting for you. And I've still got to decide what weapon I'm using. I'm probably going to go with the greatsword. Just because it's my classic. Plus it'll go well with the giant hammer. Pack, slash, and bonk. Mm-hmm. So instead of Palico, I've got a Phrenic. That's so good. <laughs> I never understood why, like, 
the the palette code just like like we you just started being partners and already my cat likes her more than me uh-huh and runs into her arms and i'm like did did i miss like an emotional moment between you two <laughs> <laughs> or you like like us? Did we move in together like in the five seconds between meeting and like getting shoved off the boat? And the cat just buries its face in her boobs too. Right. You're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. You're calling for a council. <laughs> now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. And that's what we just landed on a few minutes ago. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right. Dismissed. All right. Mm -hmm. Not even here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem. But you'll need a weapon first. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. All right, so now we pick our weapons. Okay, I have gotten the snooper. The snoot booper. The snoot booper? Yes, exactly. The, the boot the boot snooper? Oh god, no, no boots. No boots anywhere. Boots aren't allowed. <laughs> Alright, let me... Gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure, sure you choose a weapon that suits you. Oh, I will. I will. Tutorial. All right. No, I don't want the hunter's knife. I do the lance. Nah, I think honestly, having the two giant weapons is gonna be, it's gonna work out real well. Hunter's knife, iron katana, buster sword. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Iron Blade, Chain Blitz. Oh, there it is. It's literally the first one on the list. The Buster Sword, because I'm the Cloud Strife. And I guess we'll put on the Leather Armor set. There we go. That looks pretty good. A new tutorial was added. Uh, Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I mean, we can do the, uh... You can check out the tutorials real quick so I can see what all has been added to the sword with Iceborne and such. So, 
let's let's do that. Go to the training area. Why do I feel like the tutorials continue throughout like most, if not all, of the game? Yeah, it's not as bad as it looks right now. Strike various objects, place around, yada yada, exit the tutorial. New features include the combo damage display and objects for practicing with a clutch claw. If you attack, I forgot how to use the clutch claw. Plus, it's different with the insect blade than like anything else. Uh, clutch claw. Fire the clutch claw with LT plus B. And move around, attack, or change its direction. Flint shot using all of your ammo. A while grappling to drop down. Okay, let's run through the hunting base. First, ready your weapon. All right, overhead slash with Y. The great sword is a powerful close-range weapon. Rising slash with Y and B together. You can use the slinger with your weapon drawn. Look for the perfect moment, then fire. All right, charge slash by holding down Y. Oh right, you can fucking charge every single attack in this one rather than just specific attacks. Any vertical attack with the greatsword can be charged. Aim Dear slinger. internet, can you pet your palico? <laughs> right, there's a combo. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Combo including true charge slash Y. Oh, that's a good one. Right, let's try this. Oh yeah, just charge every single fucking attack. Combos with a slinger burst. Ooh, alright. Charge attack. Forward charge attack. LT. Okay. I don't... Oh, I actually need ammo for that, right. Here's some ammo. Slinger bomb. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention. Aim slinger and fire slinger. That's a bomb. Or use B for the clutch claw. Slinger ammo that can do some serious damage. Oh yeah, this has a lock on too. Shit. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Oh, that's you cool. You What's can't wrong? Pet your pallet Oh. That is, I mean, you do pet them at the end of mission, so it is a cutscene. Mm. Why did they let it, like, let us make them so cute if they weren't going to allow us to pet them? That doesn't seem fair. That's a good question. Let's return to the HQ. Now that you have access to the armor and the provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet with your handler in the canteen. Sort through the research commissions. Um, what do we actually have in the, the item pouch start? Attention. We have six potions, six antidotes, plenty of rations. Over here. We'll be stockpiling a lot of stuff as the game goes on. Alright, Commander, there's something important I need to talk to you about. This commission is special. Different from your past undertakings, if I had to take a guess. It's not about hunting down the Elder Dragons or punishing them for the damage they cause. This commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature, and ours. That's the point. Which is why we beat the shit out of them. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's as futile to try and punish nature as it is to run from it. But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. 
We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear, but before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Wow, that, that voice hurts my throat really bad. He's very growly. He's very growly. Alright, let's get this investigation started. I'll be waiting for you at the canteen. Oh, here's the provision stockpile, though. <laughs> nice weapon, buddy. I guess that means it's time to get hooked up with some supplies. Alright. Well, let's get a few more potions. And that should actually be good for now. Until we start getting more money. Now I'll head up to the cantina. I've just been running in circles around my untouchable palco. <laughs> right on time. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teamed us up for a reason. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread to your butter. Got it? The Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jaggers. Did you just call me Butter? Then we gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jaggers of the Ancient Forest quest. You ready? A wild and wondrous new world is waiting for us out there. Alright, so I'm gonna start an online session. Okay, so don't accept the Jaggers quest. Not yet. Alright, so you're gonna wanna... Hit start, go to system, and hit return to title. I think this is the only way to do this. And if not, someone will tell me in the comments. Probably very rudely. To be honest, butter? Hot. <laughs> Alright. So now we go to start game. Okay. Start up giggles. Oh, it's apparently you have to do this offline. Because it's oh, not no. letting me start an online session. Okay, so apparently you don't get to do online stuff until you finish the first mission or so. Oh boy. Alright, so we can both start the mission. It'll be fine. Okay, I just we just gotta we have you just have to snack. Just real quick. The snacking can help, yes. All right, accept the mission, post a new quest, exit the tutorial, assigned, Jagras of the Ancient Forest, no vouchers, free to explore Astera until preparations for the quest are complete. I mean, they're already complete, but thanks. Exit the tutorial, now let's make some cat snack. Do with money. Oh, Chef's Choice doesn't... Huh. There's no Chef's Choice at the start. That's interesting. Chef's Choice just picks all of the fresh ingredients and sticks them into a platter, which gets you a good chance of getting some good abilities. Huh. Alright, so now I'm heading out to depart on the quest. It hadn't even occurred to me that you wouldn't be able to join the quest right off all right this is our first job let's do a quick review of quest rules they want to make sure you know what the game is and by know what the game is i mean go through all the tutorials literally all of the tutorials every time each quest has an objective you can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Oh, it's just the regular Jagras, too. It's not even great Jagras. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? Yes, I remember. We saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two. Use the supply box. You use the supply box. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. All right. Oh yeah. Grab those. Hey, partner. Want to get going? 
Uh -huh. Hold LB and use X and B to select your items. All right. Well, I'm going to use my rations. That's a good idea at the start, is just to use a couple of rations to raise your stamina bar. Okay. And the stuff you get from the supply box is discarded after a mission if it's got a star by it. Oh, no. So, use those up. Oh, right. I should be grabbing herbs and stuff as I go, too. You can gather honey and, mix and honey... We'll be making a lot of potions as the game goes on. I usually set it to do it automatically. Yeah, I'm right next to you. You don't have to yell. Oh, there it is. Slinger ammo, red pit. A pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. All right. Let's kill them. I mean, learn learn about them. I'm, we're, we're learning about them. You're learning about them by petting them to death. With swords. It's, it's perfect. Ow. Oh, I didn't see that he was uh, on me. You're on the run. Oh, wait, they are on the run. Carve them up. I gotta get used to these controls again. They're a little, I don't know, looser and slightly wonkier than the main series. It's harder to aim your attacks. Monster Hunter Rise looks like it's going to be super cool because it uses a lot of the good stuff from both this and the main series. Oh, they've learned. Yeah, it seems like it. I can't say for sure because the game's not out, but that's how it looks. Ouch. Whoops. Oops, use the flash fly. Oh, look, now none of them can see me. Use whatever you can. Boom! Now we crush them under the weight of our swords. Or our large sticks with rocks on the end of them. Or that. Oh shit. Oh come on. He flew past me and then at the end of his uh at the end of his attack I suddenly got hit by the beginning of his attack. Oh, shit. Yeah, the hitboxing is a little more questionable in this game than in, a, than in a lot of the series. And it's always been a little questionable. Alright, now I'm carving up Jagras's as the timer counts down. I have accidentally pulled out my wet zone to sharpen my hammer. Don't you love sharpening your hammer? Just make your blunt weapon as sharp as possible. It almost seems like it shouldn't matter for the greatsword. I mean, mostly I'm just attacking with the weight of the damn thing. Okay, bones. Bones are important, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bones will be very important. You want to collect everything, basically. All kinds of quest rewards.
Palico is level 2. Good to see you. And then immediately we go into, hey, the internet exists. It's mm -hmm. important. Fine work taking down those Jagras. Huh, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. I see. Uh -huh. Maybe stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We also received reports of a Kestodon herd getting out of hand. This must be because Zora Magdaros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd and call their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Alright, you can now depart on quests with other players via online sessions. Turn on voice chat function. In-game voice chat. Why would anyone ever want this? <laughs> Listen, some people if, are masochists and some people are sadists. It's just the way that the world works. If you enjoy uh, online voice chat with randos, uh, congratulations on being a white cisgender man. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, login bonus. The New World Order. Alright. Oh, of course, it's the Monster Hunter movie. That's going to be so bad, and I feel so, so sad about that. There's just the one person who cares about it, right? Like, just the yeah. one actor. Oh. It's literally just like Mila Jovovich, and no one else knows a damn thing about it. She plays the game religiously, apparently, so I know she's going to be disappointed with the movie when it comes out. There's the event manager. We don't need to worry about her right now. I need to actually start an online setting. Session. There we go. That's the word. Communication. I don't know how to start an online session. I guess I'm going to hit return to title. And it should work this time. I'm trapped in tutorials. Hold on one second. Now we hit start game. Here we go. Create an online session. Player type. Any. Quest preference. None. Rank preference. None. Language. Any language. Message. Calling all hammer users. Private session. Friends can join. Finish. Alright, you should now be able to find me by going to join online session in the, at the main menu. Right. When you select your now character and then searching for friend sessions. Oh, you, so you did. Excellent. Oh god, I've entered, I've entered it. I've entered, you've entered the world. You've entered the session. I don't know if I can see you, like, in the main hub or anything. Where are you at? I am, I am looking lovingly at a Poogie. Alright, I am also next to where Poogie starts and you're not there, so. Oh god, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did Poogie get kissed off? Yes, yes, exactly. I All forgot right. that was a timed event, and not just like you At can't forever. just give. Yeah, like you can't give love all willy nilly. All right, I'm heading up to the smithy. Oh, apparently I'm talking to the event manager because she's standing right in front of the elevator. Yes, I know how events work. Thank you. All right, we're going up to the workshop. I could switch out for a bone sword, I think. There you are, Fiber. Ah, look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn them materials into weapons and armor. 
drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. So what are we hammering together this time? Alright, so we're gonna have upgrade equipment. Uh, the long sword. Uh, the wish list is super handy too. And we're going to upgrade the great sword from Buster Sword to Buster Sword 2. And you'll want to do this with your weapon as well. You can it also so great. <laughs> you can also switch to bone weapons if you'd prefer. Although metal weapons are more reliable at the start. Um, I think I'm going to switch to the bone weapon, simply because I have that experience to do so. So, wait, can I just switch equipment from the item box? I can. No, I don't actually have a bone weapon. Alright, this is the armory, yada yada. Yeah, I don't... No, I mean, you cut that out. A great sword, purchase, bone blade. There we go. Equip the bone blade. Well, do you want to equip the bone blade? Upgrade bone blade. I just think they're neat. It's like a potato, mm -hmm. but for bones. Exactly. See, you get it. I'm glad someone gets it. Oh god, I just imagined biting into a bone potato. <clears throat> I'm just having that experience with my mouth. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. All right, now I've got... So do you have your second level weapon now? Yeah. All right. Now, as far as equipment upgrading, we can't... Or armor upgrading, we can't do a lot just yet under Forge. But the Hunter's set is technically available. We just need to keep killing more monsters to get enough equipment for it. And none of the stuff available at the start except for, like, the bone armor is very good. The bone armor is pretty nice, though. We're just gonna have to keep collecting bones until we can make that bone armor. But that's just a good set to start out with. All it's right, for now when we... you want all your bones on the outside. Exactly! Alright, here's the handler. So the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestodon. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Oh, and I've got good news. We handlers post all the leads we find on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there, too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board, too. All right, so I'm going to make that quest. And then you should be able to join it. And as long as we keep playing together, We're on the hunt. we should both be able to clear the story at the same rate. So I'm going to hit post a new quest. And then Ass I'm going to run down these unnecessarily long stairs. And we go to assigned, a Kestodon kerfuffle. Two players. Finish. Lucky vouchers. Yeah, I yeah. am. Don't need to use that right now. Hit accept the quest. Alright, now you should be able to go to any board or the handler. You cannot join this quest because you have not progressed enough in the story. Okay. I'm you, I'm gonna accept the did you, you did you did the Jagras quest, right? Yeah. All right, um, have you gone to talk to the smithy? Yes, I've spoken to the smithy, spoken to the handler. I It just says accept a Kassadon Kerfuffle, so I guess. Oh, okay. 
Okay, try accepting it, then rejecting it and joining mine. Okay, one. Well, no. Well, yes. And then we put in. Okay. Please. And once you accept one. it, you hit back on your controller or select whatever it's labeled as on yours. And then you hit, or then you press in on the right stick to leave quest. Okay, I don't have any. S no, God, no! Let that. No! <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. okay. <sighs> okay, what happened? One second. I think I accidentally started the quest, so hold oh. on one second. All right. It, like I pressed the button and it, it did a thing, which is what it usually does. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't save. I can't. What do you want me to do here? I don't have. Uh, any once you're. Things. Are you in the quest now? I'm in. I'm standing at the camp. I'm trying to figure out how to leave. All right. You go. You hit start. And then you I... go to quest, I believe, and you should be able to to abandon, abandon quest there. Okay, return to HQ. Quest has been abandoned. Sad music plays. And then they just watch me leave. <laughs> <laughs> and now, hopefully, it'll let you join my instance of it. This game's a little wonky, as we're discovering as we go. Nope, I have not progressed enough in the story. Um, how about you try and, like, you go, and then I can, sh I think there's an option to join or, like, invite from there? Yeah, it looks Maybe. like we actually have to host it. All right, I guess we got to do this one solo as well. I'm sorry. It's a good thing we're getting this out of the way the day before. No, That's... I mean, I think there was an option... When you get into the quest to like invite yeah but it'll something. still say you haven't it's still going Done to it? say that you haven't progressed enough in the story oh oh no <sighs> this is wonky all right we'll do this one separately again this is this is really poorly thought out this beginning part that's kind of strange Alright. That's Choice Bladder. Now it exists. Alright. This is fine. This game works much better than it did when it was released. I'm just Not gonna as... put that out there. Okay. Our job is Not as bad as it could have been. Exactly. I don't have a Shaft's Choice Platter, I have Custom, I have Unpredictable, I have Challengers. Mm. Huh. Okay. What are you trying to do? I was trying to eat what the cat wants me to eat. Oh, okay. I don't think he trusts me enough. Nope. I don't understand. I just use Chef's Choice Platter 90% of the time. I, he doesn't want me to have it, oh, so we we'll work on that in therapy, I guess. I guess so. Huh. All right. Be careful. Test it on. Here they are. Can't attack them from the front. At least not easily. Ow, rude. Ah! Getting used to these controls again. Hey guys, I'm back for real this time. I'm super not just gonna leave immediately. <clears throat> oh, come on, rude ass.
Why did you hop on this rock? Just to be dramatic? Generally, yes. Hmm, there we go. Alright. Are these not Kestodon? Am I like smacking some poor innocent creature around? The Kestodon, the Kestodon are the two-legged ones. Oh no. Oh no. You are attacking the four-legged ones, huh? This is the, I've, like, I've done this before. The same thing happened the last time I did this. I don't mm. know why. These poor Aftonauts. <laughs> there are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. Be careful. And remember to keep your weapon sharpened. If you're using metal, you'll want to keep it in green as much as possible. And also remember if you need to heal, there's flowers around called Vitality. Yeah. We'll just heal you to, well, a significant amount instantly. Yeah, I'm coming. Huh. Be careful. Be careful not to get boxed in. All right, we'll do, chief. Ooh, fire. Herb. Ah, leap attacks. Listen, I'm trying to press F to pay respects. Let me pay respect. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. There's one down. Ooh, rolled into him instead of away. Wow, I am not used to the big the big weapons in this anymore. I was using the damn insect glaive for so long. You're used to being tall. Mm-hmm. Jumping into the air and shit. This is a much more intentional weapon. As in, you actually have to pay attention to what you're doing with it. Good work. That just about wraps up our work here. Wait. Hey, come here. Oh I shit! Now he wants me to do something else. Come on, I'm. This is above my pay grade. We're getting paid. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh wait, we do actually get paid at the end of missions. Never mind. Yep. Maybe I should switch back to the metal weapon. I'll decide tomorrow. Here. Oh, he found a footprint. Now I have. Oh, right. We have to fight Great Jagras, I believe. Or we, I mean, I think they they say that there's like no honor in like there's some honor in just like going back and being like, hey, I need friends to do this. So I think there might be a pause. Ah, during, see, that would allow us to. All right, all right. Yeah, we can do it together that way, and then we'll at least have. One team mission. No assignment available. The Great Jagras Hunt. Take down that Great Jagras. You can now use the SOS Flare. 
base and take on the great jack you're not ready you can return to base and take on the quest later i mean i am ready but you know all your friends for help go to the menu and select sos flare to signal them and you're going to need so friends. I'm gonna... So go Alright, are you up to... Tell me when you beat the Kestodons. In oh, the meantime, yeah. I'm just gonna look for Jagras bits. Like are I you was, done already? I, yeah, I, I was like... Good. Watching him. Up a lot of clues. He's talking to me repeatedly. <laughs> while I run in circles around my untouchable palico again. Alright, I'm gonna head back to town. Okay. Um... Return from quest. There's a there's a button for that somewhere. Yeah. Return. Let's start. Ah, okay. Yeah, there it is. Heading back, and then we'll actually team up this time. It'll be great. Welcome to the new world. All right, so I am okay. going to in multiplayer. You can enjoy quests and expeditions in a team of up to four players. Okay, right. I'm pacing in front of the, the quest board. All right, I'm going to hit post a new quest. Signed, the Great Jagras Hunt. Finish. Southwest camp, accept quests. All right, that should have posted. Biggles has posted a quest. Hooray. Oh, finally. Hooray. Select and uh, now hit select and hit standby for departure. And now we're ready to go, so we'll depart together. Now you'll finally get to see what I look like. I am waiting and on pins and needles? Something like I, that. I don't I don't think that's the way. Where are you? Ah, here. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> just, just rolling around, eh? This is my primary means of locomotion, yes. All right. All right, well, you can grab the uh, rations and first aid meds that are left. Be sure to eat a ration before we start. Om nom nom. In fact, two rations, because you're allowed to do that now. For some reason, on the previous mission, it was only letting me eat one. Alright, let's find stuff. And things. Oh, there's a footprint. Alright. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Are you able to search the same footprints as me? Yeah. Alright, good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Alright, leveled up Jagras knowledge. Oh god, it just like, it, it. sometimes it just takes your camera and picks it up like a naughty kitten. Oh god, hey, um, hey, hi. Where are, oh, you found hi. him? Wow, that yeah. was quick. Hi. I'm here now. You're hitting it, aren't you? Yep. Land your claw on a monster to grapple to. Hell yeah. See that awesome thing? I just wounded it. I punched the shit out of it. Ow. Oh, and you can chop off its tail for extra cars. It actually might not work on Great Jagras. It works on a lot of monsters, though. Yeah, I was smacking its tail the first time I tried to do this, and it didn't lap me. Yeah, I think Great Jagras may be exempt from that. Alright, so there's some move you you can do that'll knock me into the air. I think I know what it is. Hold on, watch watch this watch this thing. 
Yeah, that's probably the one. See if you can knock me into... See if you can knock me into the air over its head. Okay, we gotta line this up. Oh god, please don't, please don't hit. Okay, I'm gonna chase you with this fake hammer. Hold on. Hey! Just, just, we're trying to do a maneuver here. Oh, it's gonna take some practice, I think. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, it's running away. In the water. Okay, there we go. Guide and lead you right to him. Oh, did you die? No, no, no. I just got like knocked straight onto my face. Okay. Which is which is really unfortunate because I need my face. Okay. Let's check out these Extract skid marks together. For the scout flies to lead us to it. Got some honey. Hello, friends. Oh, regular Jagras. Well, I'm gonna beat some up because we need their materials. For cat armor or just armor in general? Armor in general. Good shit. All right, where are we going? All right, okay. No? Yes. This way, yeah. Before we reach it again, see if you can mm -hmm. knock me into the air with that, with that attack. Okay, let me, let me, let me sharpen, let me, come on. I need to, need to make it pointy again. Okay, now. No, that just kind of bonks me. It's a different attack. I don't know which one, though. We'll figure it out, but. It's... Do you I'm have an uppercut? <laughs> I don't think that's the one. There's got to be an uppercut on there somewhere. Is that your Y attack or your B attack? I... I don't have any letters attached to this mouse. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't know what the attack buttons. But you've got a vertical attack, which is normally on Y. And a horizontal attack, which is normally on B. And you'll need to use both of them. They're probably on left and right click. Yeah, they're, oh, there they are. Uh, I mean, oh, when I hi. press both of them at the same time, this is what happens. Ah. Uh -huh. Get that monster out of your belly. Stop it. Are you running away again? We just got here. Huh. I went flying backwards because it decided that it was going through the vines. Hey, buddy, where are you going? You don't get to have that food. I want it. Give me the food in your belly. Right. Lead it close to the cliff over here. Lead it over to me. I'm going to try and mount it from here. I don't know where you you're are. Going the, running you're going the wrong way. Opposite direction. Yep, hold on. I'm coming. Hey, I, do I look tasty to you? I'm pretty, I'm pretty tasty. Come on. Please stop attacking our cats. Listen. 
It doesn't have uh, to be this way. Did it just puke at us? Maybe. How rude. There we go. There you go. Mm, that's the good shit. Oh shit, knocks me off while I was trying to Look out. Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. Latch on to it. Oh. Got to slow it down a bit. Or even thinking about doing that. Fuck. All right, it's running away. Here we go. It's stuck on the scenery. As of course it is. I sure love it when they get stuck on the scenery, don't you? This is the perfect way to exist. Alright, now you can carve the Great Jagras, I think, three times. To get additional just... materials from it. You just hold down the button and, and interesting sounds happen. Yep. And then I can... <laughs> be pumped up! Pumped up where, exactly? Oh god. Thought we were going to merge into each other for a second. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> now we have a cutscene. Leave. Is this where we learn about the puke monster? Usually. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Mrs. Universe. I like Puke oh, Puke. Right. There's our mark. They're very colorful. They're like agitated. Fifty percent frog, fifty percent vomit. Only fifty percent? Heck is that? <laughs> Never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? All right, so now we get all these rewards. Mostly crafting materials, of course. We'll be more proactive in finding materials and such later on. You know, on expeditions, where mm -hmm. you aren't being like speedrun time. Hunters united. Complete a quest via multiplayer. Alright.
hey, we're both field researchers. Oh, that's, is that that's our highlights. That's what they call it. <laughs> it's because we were looking at all those skid marks. I see. So, you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdaros? Well, I'd send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Puke Puke hanging around. Puke Puke territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we make our move. Until then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's do it! All right, so that seems like a good place to end this, I guess, technically, let's play. Um, <laughs> no, we're YouTubers now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we're YouTubers. So, uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. We will be back with part two of this live-streamed, hopefully, tonight, in about, uh, what, 18 hours? I don't know what time is. You're probably right. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be back to live streaming this in about 18 hours. Just me and Mox. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching this part one. That it seemed it seemed like a good idea to do it this way. It seemed, it seemed like a good idea. All right. We'll be back with you soon. Thanks for watching. Good night. Night, night.